Really nothing changes if we shift from a line segment to the coordinate plane. We are still going to find the average of our two endpoints. It's just we have to do it twice. We have to do it once with the x's and once with the y's. We're just going to add them up and divide by two. So for example, in this example we have, I've got these two points. So to find the midpoint, I add, I find the average of my x's, so negative 2 plus 8 over 2, and 1 plus 3 over 2. Negative 2 plus 8 is 6 over 2. 1 plus 3 is 4 over 2. And that simplifies to 3, 2. Probably didn't need to do that middle step, but I just wanted you to see it. Now, what happens if it's backwards? That is, I know the midpoint. In this case, P is at 3 and 1 half. And I know one endpoint, but I want to find the other. Well, I like to do it geometrically. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to graph this out. And I know my midpoint P is, now notice I didn't have a graph, so I'm going to estimate here. So I'm going to go over 3 and up a half. Here is my midpoint. I know one endpoint is over 8 and up 3. So I know my other endpoint is someplace here. And obviously, I'm not drawing to scale. But then I just look, I look at my directions. To go from 8 to 3, I am going to subtract 5. So I'm going to keep on subtracting 5 from 3. 3 minus 5, well, that's going to be negative 2. Then I'll do the same thing for my y coordinate. I'm going from 3 to one and a half. So I'm going to subtract two and one half. I'm going to keep on subtracting two and one half. And one half minus two and a half, it's also negative two. So my midpoint is going to be negative two, negative two. Now, how can I do that algebraically? Well, I could set up my coordinates and I'll just work backwards. So what I'm saying is I know my answer is 3 comma 1 half. To find that, I add up my endpoints, my x. So this will be x plus 8 over 2 and 3 plus y over 2. I'm going to erase that 2 because it doesn't look very nice. There we go. Now we're just going to sep separate them out. So 3 equals x plus 8 over 2. Well, then let's get rid of the fraction, clear our fraction. So we multiply by 2. 6 equals x plus 8. I minus 8 from both sides. 6 minus 8 is negative 2. Notice I get the same answer. And then let's do the same thing for my y. So 1 half equals 3 plus y over 2. Let's clear our fractions. Multiply by 2. I have no more fractions at all. y equals 3 plus y. So I'll minus 3 from both sides. And we get negative 2 equals y. And there's your answer for that. You can do either way. I don't care which way you do it. That is, you can do it geometrically. You can do it algebraically. Whatever way you think works best for you, do it your way. We've showed you both ways. You don't have to do them both, although you could. Okay, next vocabulary word. We have a segment bisector. A segment bisector is any line 
that goes through the midpoint. So this would be my segment bisector. Call this line L. It's going to cut those in half. It doesn't matter what angle goes through. It just has to go through the midpoint. And that's it. 